Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, we got another really good day today. Really nice and comfortable, cool. I mean, it's great. I'm almost starting to forget what it feels like to be covered in sweat. No, I'm not forgetting, but I'm really grateful to not be covered in sweat. But I'll tell you what, that gets really disgusting really fast. I don't care what you say about a good sweat. Anyway, because honestly, there is no such thing as a good sweat. Uh-uh, no. But, with the uh, advance of all this cool weather, things have been do going pretty good. Really good in terms of, I have actually felt up to and felt willing to risk doing things like starting up the stove to cook up multiple pans of hot water to get caught up on some of the cleaning stuff that frankly I've been avoiding for the last several weeks because well in this house it's always warmer than it is outside and so when it's in the 90s and close to 100 degrees and stuff like that and the humidity is way 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 up there and it's you know the air is so thick you could carve off a slice of it and make a sandwich you know that kind of thing uh, when, it, when it's like that, I don't want to start the stove because all it's going to do is make things worse. And so I don't. I, you know, if I need something hot, I microwave it and leave it at that. And mostly I try to eat cold things and st or things that don't have to be heated up, stuff like that. And uh, so here in the last couple of days, I've actually felt like going ahead, you know, I've I've cooked up multiple pot pans of hot water. I have done a lot of uh, catching up on a lot of cleaning stuff that I just plain, like I said, I have been avoiding it like the plague because I didn't want to get things even hotter in here. You know, that thing about the house being warmer on the inside always is good in the wintertime because if you manage to get it to be too hot, all you got to do is open the door for a few minutes and uh, it takes care of itself. But uh, when it's too hot already, like in the summer, man, you don't want to go start in the stove and God forbid you should light the oven. Oh boy. So I've been catching up on that stuff. I'm a long way from being caught up because it's been longer than I'm going to admit to since I did anything in the in the realm of uh, getting things cleaned up or keeping caught up with stuff like that. I've been doing the absolute minimum that I've absolutely had to do and nothing more because I didn't want to make it any hotter in here than it already was. And things are going and so on. It's continuing. I'm getting a little bit caught up. And uh, I might actually get caught up if this cool wave happens or to last long enough. And uh, it might for another few days because coming up there is some thunderstorm activity in the forecast. And here's hoping that that actually uh, kicks in and extends this cool weather period. There's, uh, I, I know it's going to end up going back in the 80s and 90s. And that's, I'm going to be sitting here going, oh, God, it's so hot. You know. <laughs> but so on. I was actually going to get this vlog made last night, but uh, there was a little, uh, well, I will understate things and say there was a little bit of negativity, and it kind of completely threw me off my game last night, so I didn't get this done then. But I'm back at it this morning, late morning, early afternoon, whatever time it is, I don't even know. Uh, you know, it used to be, I used to wear a watch, and, uh, I mean, all the time. I felt naked without the watch, all the time. And a few years ago, the battery died on it, I couldn't get it replaced, and uh, so on and so forth, and I just quit bothering. And as part of my new, newly found policy a few years ago of uh, avoiding stress at all costs, I started not caring what time it was or what day of the week it was or anything like that and now I don't. Half the time I have to I, I have to look at a clock to know what time it is. I have to look at the calendar, the clock calendar thing on my computer to know what day of the week it is. And uh, frankly I think it's a whole lot less stressful that way. <laughs> Avoiding stress is a very good thing. You want to do that at all costs. Because stress, 
stress will mess you up, stress will put you in the hospital, stress will kill you. Absolutely. So avoid it at every possible cost. Uh, I have been asked recently why I haven't been doing Journey to the Far Lands, even though I just recently got restarted with it. Well, I don't know. It's a combination of being caught up in the uh, FTB reset, the uh, Hermitcraft FTB reset, and uh, really wanting to be right in there doing all the things and, you know, and uh, getting started with that new world and all that. It's partly that and it's partly uh, some other things that have just kind of had me distracted and so on. So. I'm going to try to get another episode of that out tomorrow, and we'll see if we can manage that. In the meantime, the Hermitcraft FTB stuff is going fantastic. Not only am I, of course, having a blast doing it and uh, exploring this whole brand new world and getting stuff built and all that stuff, but I've noticed something. The video views on those videos since the reset have, like, exploded. Episode 71, Hermitcraft FTB, I, call, I called that one Unleashed, after the name of the new pack. And that sucker, right as I'm sitting here right now, has got darn near a thousand views on it. Now, all I can tell you is, if anybody's wondering why I concentrate more on that channel with Hermitcraft FTB than I do anything else, there's your answer. You know, I, I get a thousand views on something. You darn right, I'm going to make more of it <laughs> because it's obviously what people are interested in watching, and I would be a dummy not to make more of it. Anyway, this has rattled on. I just looked at the camera's uh, preview screen that shows how long the video is, and right now it's seven minutes and fifteen seconds. For you, it would be a little longer because of the intro. But I really need to shut up. So thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.